All right, so pick up that foot and place it. Good. And let him come with it. Very nice. So we're teaching him to lead by a foot, teaching him to give to pressure by following a feel on that rope around his foot. We're bringing the foot forward, putting it down, and expecting him to go ahead and put his weight on it right where we put it. There we, very nice. Um, this is a this is a good thing to teach them. It goes into the desensitizing as well. Um, it's a good thing to teach them so that if they ever get their foot caught in some brush, in a log, in a fence, in a gate, whatever, I've had it happen before. And if they know this trick, they are more likely to either stand there and think about it and work the problem out themselves or they'll stand there and wait for help. This has saved a lot of legs for me over the years by teaching them this simple trick right here. Okay, go ahead and um, do the thing where you brought his leg off to the side. Let him relax first. There. And then bring his leg out to the side a little bit. Just pick it up and pull it out to the side. And you don't want them to fight. If they start fighting, you just stay with them until they relax. And then you get, and then you release the pressure. But what you want is you want him to follow that rope, no matter where you put it. So right now he's pulling it out to the side and expecting him to follow it. So he picks it up, places it, good boy. and he's getting pretty good at that. And you'll want to do this with all four feet. So this is a good example of a front foot. Very nice. And then take it over the other front foot. So go the other way with it. And the halter and lead rope is really doing nothing right now. It's only there in case he were to decide to try and leave. We want to keep him in, a, in this area here. There he resists a little bit more and then starts thinking about it. Good boy. <laughs> and he's just gonna stand there with his legs crossed. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. So he's, this is his first time doing this and he's actually doing a really good job of thinking through a process. He's been through all of our groundwork and he's done a lot of the obstacles and all kinds of stuff. He's only two um, but you can see that this is his first time doing this and this is a pretty typical reaction when they've been pretty familiar with all of our groundwork and everything else that we do with them. Um, but if you do hit some resistance in your horse, it's important to remember that you need to just stick with it until they work out the problem and they start thinking for themselves. Um, because this is a thinking exercise. You're desensitizing them and teaching them to give to pressure. There's a, not so much fighting as it is clumsiness right now. There he's fighting a little bit more. That's okay, stay with him. That's okay, there, there's a good boy. This is a good one too, because you can bring his, back, his leg back behind the other one. That one's even harder. But see how he fought there for a little bit, just out of confusion and just wanting to be free and now he's just relaxed and just standing there waiting for 
help or waiting for the answer to be given to him. So that's a good, yeah, that deserves a rub. That was a good, good reaction. Good boy. All right, shall we try a hind leg now? We'll take a break. So now we've moved to the back leg. And he picked it up once and no reaction, so this is good. Now sometimes they will do quite a bit of kicking and flailing trying to get that rope off. And all I can say is try and stick with it best you can. If you need to just desensitize them to the rope first, just to the feel of the rope, that's okay. They can walk around a little bit with the rope dragging on their back leg there, put them in a safe spot and they'll just get used to it a little bit and then you can try it again. Um, I should mention too, we are using a very soft rope for this exercise. You do not want to use an abrasive rope of any kind, not just for your hands, but also for their legs. You don't want to give them a rope burn, so you want a nice soft rope. There he resists a little bit, just kind of stay with it until he re relaxes and then release. There you go. Let him put it all the way down when you do that. There. Just give him a break. When you release, you just want to put it, let him put it all the way back down on the ground. Yep, pick up on your halter there a little bit so that he can't walk away from you. And you don't want him to fall over either. Um, so you want a nice soft rope and also with the with this, if your rope has a snap on it, you want to make sure that the snap is not on the underside of your horse's fetlock joint. And he's not even care. He doesn't even care. He's going to take a snack. Yeah, I don't need. I don't need four legs. You can have one. Good boy. <laughs> and put it down. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, he's got to check it out. He's like, what's what's on my leg? So the goal with this too is to ultimately be able to lead them by a hind leg too. Um, I recommend doing it in a small pen or round pen or something. If you're going to take your halter off to give it a try. If your horse is doing pretty well like he is right now. Um, like the next step here would be for us to take him into the round pen and just take his halter off and get a longer soft rope and um, do it with him with nothing on, on his head because he's, he's being very calm about this. Yep, and if he, if he resists a little bit, just stay with him. There, that's nice. Yep, don't be, don't be afraid to go ahead and rub him too. Let him know that it's it's not that hard. This is also a really good stretching exercise for them too. When you can get them to relax into this and, and stretch. There he took a step. So it's not so much about teaching your horse to lead per se. It's more about the idea of getting them to be comfortable with you doing things like this because this is extremely unnatural for them to allow you to pick up their hind foot and bring it in positions like this. I mean, this is a very weird and awkward position for him. He'd very much rather stand square or eat some grass or something. So it's more about teaching him to just relax and give to pressure, not fight, and think about a problem rather than react to it. So it goes back to desensitizing where we're trying to reduce the amount of time between their initial reaction and then their thinking process. He's like this stretch actually kind of feels kind of good. <laughs> 